Hey, what's happening, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the King Penny Podcast. This is episode number four, and we're going big today. You know, first I want to uh, shout out to the people who participated in the uh, King and Queen of the Rocky Squat competition. You know what I mean? We had two winners, uh, Brianna and uh, Brayden. Hey, they killed the game, man. A lot of reps, man. Uh, just uh, surprised by the females that... Uh, Squatted 135, I mean, in the 30s and the high 20s in a minute and stuff like that. And the guys, too, who did the 275, man, like the guys really pushed themselves. Uh, the max on the uh, squat was a uh, 635 guy really brought it, man, deep in the bucket, man. So I want to give them a shout out. Also, too, I want to say it while I'm saying it. Next month, we're going to do deadlifts. OK, so probably around the 15th of July. So be looking for that flyer to come out. Hey, so today on the podcast, we got a special guest who's going to talk to us all about insurance, man. Hey, this is the guy you need to know. You know, I've been knowing him for a while. You know, we just reconnected here recently. It's been great to see how his progression and his evolution as a career man, a family man, the positivity of him has always been there. Oh, and a super competitor as well. We'll talk about that later. Hey, man, I'd like you guys welcome, man, our guest. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. Hey, man. So let's start off with your name. Yeah, I'm Chris Contreras. Yep. Okay. And uh, where are you from? Uh, Denver, Colorado. Grew up uh, Grew up out here. Moved out here when I was about eight years old from uh, Albuquerque, New Mexico. But uh, I grew up out here, man. That's my home. So, yeah. Yeah. You're, what's the family status look like? You're single? You're married? I'm married. I'm married. I'm engaged, but practically married, man. Uh, happily, you know what I mean? Been with, been with her for uh, about 10 years. Uh, two kids, eight-year-old and a six-week old um yeah man so a lot of restless nights not getting too much sleep but hey man the grind don't stop yeah, i heard you know? that man happy father's day <laughs> thank by the you way, appreciate man. it likewise man thank you congratulations on the new one man thank you so i already set you up with the insurance thing yeah. but what is it that you actually do for a living what's the yeah so i'm an all-state agent um i work for all-state uh so yeah we sell everything um we're licensed in all four lines property casualty life and health uh, property and casualty as homes landlords policies um all the toys autos um four by fours you know everything everything you have man besides besides health insurance we sell everything besides health so. and what's the coverage area of your everything in colorado so i'm bound in uh colorado Colorado, so I can write anything in the Colorado state lines. Um, every state you kind of go to, you have to get licensed in those states. And you have so, clients down here as well? Yeah, like in uh, Longmont, uh, Berthid. Um, uh, a lot, I got a lot of uh, friends that I play cornhole with up here in uh, Longmont, so got a lot of clients through that way. So, yeah, man, shout out to them. Oh, man, you go yeah. shout out the cornhole competition. <laughs> hey, nah. man, it's a fun game, and man. I, and I was telling you that. I've seen them dudes on ESPN. Oh, man. yeah. Oh, yeah. It's crazy, <laughs> man. It's not, just, it's not just barbecue anymore, man. These guys are legit, man. Hey, man. I'm telling saw, you. So, they want them to get like a sponsorship or something? Yeah, like, man. It's nuts, man. Uh, yeah, all kinds of different sponsorships, bro. It's 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 getting paid to play cornhole, bro. It's getting crazy. We talk sports a lot, you know what I mean? Because he honestly he just came from a golf tournament as well. <laughs> yeah. Like, you know what I mean? The guy's super competitive, has a lot going on and yeah, stuff like man. that. So how did you get into insurance work? Um, so my parents, I saw my parents kind of grow up with it. We, Like I said, we uh, we grew up in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Not a lot of money, not a ton of money. But I saw them come out here and kind of go from the bottom to the top as a, as a child, going from food stamps to, uh, to to a good living. You know what I mean? It kind of inspired me as a kid saying, hey, wait a minute. You know what I mean? Um, this might be on to something. So that kind of just always kind of caught my eye and uh, went from there, you know, so. Yeah. Yeah, man. But what, what do insurance agents do? What's like a day to day like? So pretty much um, what you do is you pretty much um, quote people. So you, you you try to quote people on the same type of coverage that they have now. And if we can save you money, it's a no brainer. You have the same coverage and you're saving money. It's it's you're going to win them no matter what. Um, but that's pretty much it, man. And not only that, but when you when you have a certain company to back you, like all state, state farm, certain names that are that are known, um, people trust the name. They know that they're not going to get uh uh, if they have a claim or something, their company is not going to leave them hanging. You know what I mean? So they're going to have um, uh, the money and the power to back them. No, that's you good. know. That's so good. yeah. So let me let me let me shoot this myth out here. This is a question. Yeah. You know what I mean, 
does insurance go by your credit report? It can. It can. It goes off a bunch of different type of factors. Um, it goes off of how many claims you tend to turn in. It comes off of your driving record, your credit report, things like that, because they want to know what kind of person you are and how if, if you're more likely to turn in claims on small stuff, or if you're likely to uh, maybe not turn in the claim if it's if it's right there on the brink. You know what I mean? It just kind of depends on uh, um, uh, a character report almost, if you will. You know what I mean? So they want to know what kind of person they're writing and uh, what what type of rate you're going to get back and what is and how do you deal with that when clients like aren't happy with the rate are they um you know like, it's tough to tell because there's certain times where we just can't flat out beat the rate but that's when you sell the 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 name of Allstate and you kind of tell them hey you never know the quality of the company you have until you need them the most until you have to turn in the claim um it's nothing worse than turning in a claim and saying sorry we don't we're not going to cover you on this on this point versus having a name that's credible that you do turn in a claim and they're saying don't worry about it everything's taken care of we're going to get you a rental we're going to get this taken care of for you so you never know the quality of the company until you actually need them the most you know what i mean so that's what it comes down to with the shook night hey, i'm telling you hey that's what <laughs> it is what do you think you never know what you need yeah i'm uh, telling you but uh which call no but so you're saying you're quoting people whatnot like that are you actively like are you cold calling people are people contacting you are you getting leads from like the generator from you know the internet are you yeah so how are you so basically, when you first start off, there's a lot of companies that'll sell you leads. So a lot of people will call and say, hey, they're interested in the quote and give them a call. You have to pay for those leads. And a lot of times they're $30, $40 a piece. Um, and sometimes they're not all that great. But um, fortunate enough for us, we've been in the business for probably about eight, nine years. And uh, we have a lot of word of mouth. So our, our book of business has expanded to a point where um, our clients are telling, telling other people about us. And we're just kind of growing from that. So we haven't had to make cold calls in quite a while. But that's exactly where you start. Yeah, you absolutely you start from uh, making calls man sending emails and uh grinding you know so so what do you do when it's slow like when <sighs> what do you do like you know because i'm sure it fluctuates yeah, absolutely like any absolutely. business yeah. does like you know when it's slow you definitely try to reach out as much as you can social media is a big standpoint you know we're always uh posting stuff on social media we're always trying to reach out to people that were once with us that are no longer with us saying hey give us a chance to quote you again you know things like that um and not only that but other than the sales aspect from it it really comes down to service too people changing out cars people have hail claims people uh, need to change billing people want to know why the rates are gone up uh, people want to know um, you know what it's like if they change their uh, coverage from full coverage to liability or vice versa so there's a ton of service involved with it too but um, yeah sales is really uh, mainly that's our uh, bread and butter has been going back on our previous clients that one, were once with us we'll reach back out and say hey you know hopefully we built that type of respect and, and rapport that they'll say hey of course we remember you guys yeah let's go ahead and quote it again let's move from there so that's kind of so which cause so you mentioned hail yeah and that's been a crazy thing Huge, this year man yeah and whatnot like that my question for you is because you know my vehicle does have a whole lot of hail damage yeah if i do file the claim for hail damage right mm -hmm. you know is it going to raise my rate down the line mm -hmm. like the next time i go to you know go to get, get a policy or get a is this going to be reflected because yeah. the hell damage is like... Absolutely not. And actually, it's crazy because uh, what makes a car full coverage is uh, comprehensive and collision. So comprehensive is considered an act of God. It's considered uh, hail damage, it's considered theft, vandalism, um, a windshield, getting a crack in your windshield, um, uh, vehicle getting stolen, anything other than collision, pretty much. And those are considered act of gods or something that's out of your control. So it's not something that will reflect you personally. So you can turn in as many uh, comprehensive claims as you as, as what happens. Happens, I should say, and nothing will affect you personally. So um, it's way different than getting to an accident that was your fault or uh, running a red light and you hit somebody. Then that's going to, of course, reflect you and your driving habits, but comprehensive will not. So that's a good, uh, not a lot of people know that. So I'm glad you brought that up. No, so, that. And, and also, too, what is what, what are other things that... What are things that insurers would like the clients to know? Yeah, like, I mean, what, like, yeah, hey, well, what I tell my friends and family that are that are with us, and even pretty much anybody that'll listen, is um, a good keynote, man. If you have full coverage in your vehicle right now. Hey, if we're not your agent, call your agent and just say, hey, I have full coverage. I have a $500 deductible. Or maybe I have a $1,000 deductible. What would it cost me to drop that to a zero? Okay. If I get a crack in my windshield and I got to replace my windshield, which by the way, it's crazy. My, my wife has a GMC Acadia, man, and it, it shows a little speedometer on the windshield and it has to be calibrated and everything every time we replace it. That thing is $800. We dropped ours to a zero dollar deductible. If it gets a crack through it, you have zero deductible to pay. And our bill went up, I think $15 a month 
especially in the hail damage season that we're in now, is definitely worth doing, at least checking into and seeing how much it would be more a month because it could save you hundreds and hundreds of dollars going down the line. So tip, tip of the whole podcast, man. Check with your uh, agent to see how much it would be to drop that to a zero. Also check to see how much it would be to drop your roadside assistance to get a tow somewhere. And how much that is? It's like a dollar a month. It's ridiculous. It's it's uh, foolish not to have it, in my opinion. Look at you. Yeah, plug, plug, man. plug and stuff. Hey, man. And, and you did a soft flex with your wife's car with the speedometer. <laughs> 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 hey, yeah, I mean, that's I was like, oh, okay, no, you, I'm way back there. Oh, so she got the speedometer <laughs> yeah. on the windshield. Like, you know what I mean? I was like, oh, okay. Man, I'm telling now, you. So how do you stay up, right, with, mm-hmm. the, uh, with the regulations and the different insurance? I mean, I'm sure the rules oh, and yeah. things change all the time. Are you guys, like, in classes? Are you guys, yes. like... Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So basically, um, to be in uh, to, to sell insurance in Colorado, you have to renew your license every two years. So you have uh, most um, most companies require you to have four four types of lines of insurance, which is property, casualty, life, and health, and you have to renew those every four every two years. So you have to take continuing education classes. You have to pass certain courses to just keep your uh, license up to date. So you obviously have to know what's being what's changing in this in the state. What's uh what what factors are coming into play? So you have to stay up on that um, when you first get licensed in two years after that going forward. So, yeah. so you've been in this field for a while. What's mm-hmm. what's like the most satisfying part of your most, job? Most satisfying, man, to be real, is uh, I've been in sales my whole life. But with insurance especially, is being there when someone needs you the most, man. When somebody says, hey, man, I just told them my car I got into an accident. I don't know how I'm going to take my kids to school. I don't know uh, what I'm going to do to get to work. And to be able to tell them, hey, you have full coverage. We're going to take care of it for you. We have a rental. You have rental coverage on your, on your policy as well. We're going to take care of that. We actually have it lined up as soon as you drop it off at the shop. And just being there when people are on a panic or, or, um, uh, or don't know what to do and you're just there to help them and be that kind of <sighs> type of feel, you know what I mean, is the, is the most satisfying for sure. So that's the best part of the job, in my opinion, is being there when they need you the most. Okay. Yeah, man. So for a young up-and-coming person or even an older person or whatever like that, what would you advice would you give them if they're trying to break into the insurance field or if they need, you know, like yeah. what, kind of, what kind of traits would they need, what kind of work ethic or... Um, if you are interested in getting to the insurance field, what I recommend is to uh, jump in an office, man. I would recommend to um, stop by and just try to get a job in an insurance office in general. Kind of check out the lingo, check out the atmosphere, check out uh, how everything's running and see if it's something you're interested in. If it is something you're interested in, say, hey, I can see myself doing this. Best thing for you to do is to get licensed because you're, you really bring a value to uh, whatever office you're going to be a part of when you have property casualty life and health or even property and casualty in general. And you can get those licenses online, man. You can um, uh, FX online, uh, FX dot com is where i got my license on you basically study it then you go to the state and take the test you pass the test you get your license um when you go to an insurance office and say hey i have my license i'm ready to get involved then you can actually get commissioned off of um insurance sales and kind of go from there um but first and foremost i'd recommend just to kind of get involved or just uh stop in an office and kind of see what it's like and if you can see yourself being there um if you can then get licensed man just um you know uh, go for it you know but as far as characteristics and things you need pretty much like any sales um you know type of thing don't quit um you know what i mean a good salesman is gonna hear no and not lose enthusiasm and keep going and going and going that's the thing you need in every sales job but it's you know insurance as well it definitely does uh, come into play so no i'm glad you said that <clears throat> yeah but also too i want to shift the conversation i want to come right back yeah but I don't want to shift the conversation to offer some insight mm-hmm. as to how we know one another. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know man. What I mean, look yeah. at the smile comes on your yeah. face. Like, look, <laughs> it's been a we're mile. not going to get into the details <laughs> of it all and everything like that. <clears throat> yeah. But, you know, I used to live a certain type of way mm-hmm. and I used to, you know, uh, do a lot of different things mm-hmm. that maybe were unhealthy, not the best. Uh, yeah, you absolutely. Know, way Likewise, man. And everything mm-hmm. like that. How did you move from that mm-hmm. to where you are now? Like, what, how, did, how did the shift come about? Yeah. And what, what motivated you to do that? <laughs> to be honest with you, it was uh, what kind of woke me up was having my daughter, man. You know what I mean? Kind of having somebody rely on you and say, hey, man, you know, wake up and start, you know what I mean, making some moves and start, uh, you know, uh, being there for your family and things. And when you have somebody relying on you, like your wife or your daughter or kids and stuff, it really kind of either motivates you or I guess doesn't, but it definitely motivated me to kind of make that pivot and uh, take life 
life seriously, if you will. You know, so yeah. that's kind of what hit but me. But I want to because the main thing, like, and honestly, why I asked you to come on here mm-hmm. because a lot of some some of the other friends have moved in a in in a different or the same further in the same direction Absolutely. that we were or that we used to be on. Mm-hmm. But you found a way to step away from that. Yeah, and you know what I mean. Focus on something that is. And I see a lot of the pictures and things like that, yeah. and, you know, like the, the the new family and yeah. things like you've moved in a better, mm-hmm. healthier direction. Absolutely. And, you know, I want to make sure that you're applauded for that. All right. You know on, man. I appreciate like, that. I see it. A couple of other friends mentioned it and things like that. And I know yeah. that we haven't always been as close or yeah. as uh, connected as we have. Yeah. But people still have eyes on you. They like all the stuff you be they they were showing me the stuff from the, all the Nuggets games and oh, all yeah. that stuff. Yeah, and man. You, 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 hey, look here, the guy up front. <laughs> hey, the guy up front, you know what I mean? Yeah. Nah, but nah, man, but I just want to applaud you on I that. I appreciate that, man. And, you know, taking your family and your career serious and just yeah. life in general now, yeah. man. Yeah. And I think that's motivating for other people as well. And I'm hoping anybody watching this can, Absolutely. you know, see that they can move in a different route, man. Definitely. And, 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 and find a new enjoyment in life Absolutely. versus unhealthy you know, going in the same direction, bad, you know, going in the same direction, fast. And that's the kind of person I, I, I am. And I still know that I am. You know what I mean? I can I can uh, I can zoom in on a certain area that can take me in a bad direction really fast. Or I can zoom in a direction where it can take me, uh, 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 you know, advancing fast. It's just a matter of where's that focus at. And that's kind of what I made a point to change was if I change my environment and change who I'm around, um, it'll change my future. You know what I mean? So it kind of just uh, uh, made a point to me to stop hanging around certain people, change your environment and just kind of double down on the people that you want to be like, you know, show me your friends, and I'll show, show me who your friends are and I'll show who you are. You know what I mean? It just, there's some truth to that, man. You know what I'm saying? Everybody talks about wanting to be loyal to day ones and all this stuff, which is true. But if you're not uh, the leader of that relationship or being able to guide that relationship in a positive direction, then that direction is going to bring you down. You know what I mean? You got to be man enough or woman enough to make that choice and kind of double down and, uh, and, and, and change some things or, you know, uh, you'll stay the same, man. You know what I mean? And this is why we had him here. Yeah. Motivation 101. Hey, I'm just saying, right? man. Hey, you know what I'm saying? Wait, young Jeezy at what? <laughs> Motivation 101. So, points up. Nah, man. But it's really good, bro. It's really good. So now I want to shift back. Um, so what are your short-term goals or mm-hmm. your long-term goals? Where are you at with that? So I got a couple different ones, man. I mean, um, I definitely have some personal goals. I have some business goals. Um, my business goals, man, I eventually... Um, I just moved. And the reason why it's on top of my mind is because the rent kept get going up every time uh, or every uh, three year lease that we had. And I want to eventually own my own strip mall, man. So that's the short, that's the business side of goals, you know, by it. But uh, it costs quite a bit of money, man. So that's still in kind of uh, in motion that goes. But um, uh, yeah, man, as far as a uh, personal goals, I just have a, I have a six, six week year old, six week old. And uh, man, I'm trying to I'm trying to get in the, the weight pile of the Rockies, man. Go see my boy get Penny. You, you know what man. I'm saying? Give me get, give me looking, man. Look, look at this guy right here. You know what I'm saying? So man. trying to get trying to drop a quick forty, man. So that's just my personal goals. But as far as business goals, that would probably be it. Um, you know, and just growing growing uh, the agency in general. Right now, it's just myself and my mother who uh, are owners of the uh, Allstate agency, and um, you know, just kind of growing from there. They're looking to retire here soon, and I'm looking. To to, uh, to to keep it moving and to keep uh, everything that I know, maybe I can pass down to other people and uh, and also help grow the business that we're that we're in. So, no, that's yeah, man, cool, man. But I do want to uh, ask you about so the strip mall thing you mm-hmm. mentioned. You know, I mean, where, where did that come from? Like that, that. Really, I mean, I I got a uh, I got a couple friends who um, not a couple. I got one friend that I know of that uh, started buying strip malls and started buying things. And he was telling me how much, of course, how much the equity is going to go up on that building, and just all kinds of insight. And made me actually purchase a home not too long ago, about three years ago, because I heard about equity. Man, it was all new new news to me. But um, yeah, man, just kind of uh, instead of paying rent and seeing it go up, I think average was 15% a year. 
uh, and it never goes down. It'll always keep <laughs> going up. You know what I mean? So it was like, man, I got to get in this and I got to own something, you know? And then not only that, my uh, fiance is a, uh, a cosmetologist, so she cuts hair for a living. She loves dyeing, balayage. I learned all these terminologies that she does, baby lights, low lights, all kinds of stuff, you know what I mean? <laughs> Doing hair. But what beneficial would it be if we have an all-state agency and a salon and maybe some other businesses that we like doing in the same mall? And not only that, you're making equity doing it, you know what I mean? So that kind of turned me on to that. And uh, that's uh, that's in motion, man. So hopefully uh, we continue part two, you know, maybe in a couple of years, you know what I mean? Maybe maybe we'll have the podcast up in there. Hey, you know, man. King Penny and we got our strip mall going, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> With the weight part of the Rockies in the back. Who knows? You know what uh, I mean? Yeah, I mean, I, like I said, I've never, I've never heard of anyone that this is, this is, you know what I mean? A strip yeah. mall. Yeah, man. You know what I mean? It's yeah. great. Like, you know what I mean? Outside yeah. of Nipsey. Yeah. Like, outside, outside of Nipsey. Like, you yeah, know what I mean? But you I know. mean, I could see what benefits it could bring to a, a community. Oh, absolutely. Like, especially like, you know. Yeah. Uh, Good healthy things, oh, and yeah. good places, good food. Yeah. Good, you know what I mean? And you being in control of what the community. And I wonder if you looked at it like that. Yeah. Because you will kind of be like owner of the mall, you will kind of be in control of what is allowed to be in that absolutely. community. Absolutely. Like, yeah. I mean, a lot of people like liquor stores, yeah. uh, stuff like that. I mean, you would have control over, hey, look here. We're Here's, having that or we're not. Yeah, yeah like, exactly. You know what I mean? So it's a lot of responsibility. Yeah, that, it's true. You know what I mean? Like, Absolutely, 100%. I never and, thought of it like that, yeah, man. You're right. you got to look down the line. Yeah, so. 100%. It's something you're proud of, too. You know what I mean? Exactly. Absolutely, 100%. Because, I mean, it's going to carry your name. It's going to carry oh, yeah. your legacy. This is... And so you might want to think about that, you know what I mean, yeah. as you embark on that path. And I'm wishing you all the best and success in that. I appreciate it, man. And then, so my last question would be, so what has working in insurance contributed to your life or to your, you know what I mean? Have, have you lifestyle changes mm -hmm. or your, you know, mm -hmm. just overall just your skill set as a man? Yeah. What has insurance done for you? To be honest, it really kind of... Um, allowed me to bump elbows with the right type of people, man. And uh, people that I wouldn't normally talk to or even kind of the same reason why I got into golf when you mentioned playing golf is I got into it to bump elbows with different connections, different type of people to kind of talk to people that I wouldn't normally talk to about certain things, business, um, other all state agents, uh, what you're doing that I'm not, what, what, what I'm doing that you're not and kind of working together and, and building each other up. Um, but yeah, man, I mean, working in the business has really, uh, has helped with financial freedom somewhat, not to the place where obviously we want to be at uh, quite yet. You know, we're not reaching the goal yet, but, um, you know, and, and just meeting certain people that I never would meet, man, you know, and um, um, Ivy League or uh, college people, people going to college and things like that, which I never did, you know, but uh, 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 all state and insurance industry definitely kind of embarked that on me and uh, just being able to contact people I never would normally talk to, man, and, and it's definitely beneficial. So, um, you know, to, um, to answer the question like that, yeah, that's pretty much it, man. Just uh, it's all positive. There's no negative that um, being in the insurance field uh, has brought to me. So definitely would recommend if you are uh, thinking that way. So no, like I man, said, man, man. I want to thank you. No, I yeah. thank you for sitting down, taking the time to talk and explain things. Especially nah, thank to, you, man. You know what I mean? Like, guys, hey, I just got a, I just got a policy. Yeah. I, don't, I don't know. I didn't know that you could. For a dollar at this, oh yeah, and yeah. I definitely will look hey, out. Let's I, take a I, look, look, man. I Absolutely. definitely will look into that. But yeah, Absolutely. but uh, hopefully that's informative for everyone else. But yeah. I do, like I said, I do want to congratulate you on I the baby. Appreciate that, man. On the Thank engagement, you so much. on the, uh, the 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 life change, and the you know what I mean, the mm -hmm. career and everything like that, man. Appreciate I want to wish you all the best. Going forward, you're already winning. So I mean, it's yeah. kind of I'm like, look, I'm late to the train. Yeah. Congrats, nah, you, you man. Know nah, what I'm nah, I appreciate you, man. And, Thank uh, you so much. You know, what I mean, like, man, all the things that you're doing, man, is great, man. You've always been positive. Like I said, man, only good things can come from that. I appreciate. I want to plug the last thing. So, how can people get in contact with you? What's the best way? To yeah, best way, man. Uh, um, uh, phone number three zero three six nine nine three three two seven. We're out in uh, Aurora, Colorado, uh, pretty much off of Parker Road and two twenty five. But uh, most are done over the phone. You know, we'll we'll go ahead and quote you if that's something you're interested in. Shopping your rates. Quotes are always free. You know, you can always give us a call. Shoot us an email. My email is chris c h r i s 
Contreras, C-O-N-T-R-E-R-A-S at Allstate.com. So just Chris Contreras at Allstate.com. No dots or anything between the first and last name. But, yeah, man, um, quotes are always free. So give us an opportunity to save, save you some money. I'm the type of person that's going to tell you, you know, we can't save you some money at this time. But let's try again in six months. I'm not going to BS you over the phone or anything like that. Uh, the main thing with insurance and what we stand by is being able to, to build that trust and to know, hey, I can't save you money at this time, but let's try again in six months, you know. So we'll uh, we'll be up front and center with you and um, go from there, man. You know, create a win-win situation. If we can save you money and move forward, then it's win-win. If not, then we'll wait six months and try it again. Uh, the thing with insurance is every company will fluctuate. So you might have a good rate now, but in six months that might change and Allstate might take a rate decrease this company might take an increase, decrease, you know, so it all fluctuates um, throughout. So uh, definitely keep your um, current company uh, honest and uh, check them out, man. Check out different companies and, and check out those quotes. So well, it sounds like you had a commercial ready to go already. <laughs> hey, Are you in good look hands? Hey, look at you in good hands. <laughs> hey, man, this is Big Chris, man. I appreciate you, man. Hey, man, I'm King Penny. Thank you for tuning in to this uh, fourth episode of King Penny Podcast. Like I say, stay tapped into the wave pile on the Rockies, man. 1610 Main Street, open twice daily. Yes. One in the morning from 7.30 to 11, and then again from 3.30 to 7. Seven days a week, all free. Come get your workout in, man. Absolutely. I'm going to sit here and finish talking to Chris, man, trying to figure <laughs> out how I can become the new All-State guy, man. You guys have a great day, yeah, man. Check out them deadlifts, man. Coming up, what, what is <laughs> next, it? Uh, hey. next, next month, uh, next month, probably around the 15th. I'll put the flyer out this week, man. Hey, wish you guys all the best, man. And have a good one, man. King Penny.